Hi, I'm Dr. Rafi Romano from Tel Aviv, Israel. I've created this video in order to help all my friends, my colleagues, dentists all around the world. We all in the same boat uh, suffering from the coronavirus and we need to create a protocol how to protect ourselves and protect our patients. So I hope you enjoy this video and you can share it among your friends as much as you want and let's stay united. So the first step is our waiting room. If you can, cancel your waiting room. Let patient wait outside, in the car or in the entrance of the clinic. If you have a building where the uh, clinic is, to wait downstairs and wait for the staff to call you in the mobile phone and go up. Uh, in the waiting room, uh, we have blocked most of the chairs. If it's a polyclinic, try to block one chair and then allow the patient to sit in a uh, chair that is free and then block another one. So in that way you make distance between the patients. Uh, also try to choose plastic chair or leather chair uh, that you can clean and sterilize and if you cannot just cover your current furnitures with plastics that you can clean and sterilize during the day. Ask your patient to come alone, if possible without any companion. If they need an escort, an assistant, uh, please ask them to bring only one person that will come to the clinic and will protect himself the same way we do uh, for our patients, the same protocol. We call all our patients a day before the appointment. We ask them about symptoms. Did they have fever uh, more than 38 degrees in the last 24 hours? Do they have coughing, shortness of breath or difficulty to breathe? And also, uh, if they were close to a patient, uh, a coronavirus patient in the last 14 days. If possible, we ask the patient to send us pictures before the appointment. They are, uh, especially for orthodontists like me, there are tools that enable the patient to take pictures at home and send us uh, with retractors that you can buy over the internet in a very uh, cheap price. And in that way, some of the control follow-up we do by remote and save the patient from coming to the clinic. Well, now it's a time for us, the staff, to be protected. We start, of course, from a very thoroughly hand wash. It, it is advised to change your soap machine to an automatic one and also your tap uh, where the water comes to an automatic where you just need to put your hands and the water comes. Afterwards, we wear a gown. The gown has long sleeves, cover all our body. You can tie it. Uh, most of the gowns can be reused and washed, of course, to certain uh, amount of time. We put a mask. The mask, again, can be surgical mask or the N95. Most of them can be clean, sterilized and reused, as you can see in the following video. Uh, we have gloves. Uh, we have a cover for our head, for our legs. And we put our loops, which most of us use, and over the loops, some plastic shields. Uh, there are today many plastic shields that have some uh, mechanism where you can lift it and take it uh, uh, down in order to allow you to use both of them on the same time. Now we are all ready to start the treatment. So one of my staff goes outside to invite the patient. The patient will not touch our door or handles, so only the staff which is protected will open the door, invite the patient. When the patient comes to the office, we have an infrared temperature to measure his uh, fever. This is uh, obligatory in our country. I guess in some, many of our, your countries, it is mandatory as well patient comes to the office, go to a table that is covered with a paper, puts his mobiles and keys in a plastic bag, 
and put bag on the table. Ask the patient to have his hands like this, so in that way he will not touch anything in the clinic. He goes directly to wash hands. You give him to wash mouth with hydrogen peroxide 3%, diluted 2 to 1, so it will get to 1%, then goes again with hands up, goes to the chair, sit down, and we are ready to start the treatment. So now it's a time to start the actual treatment. I practice orthodontics. Many of you practice surgery. The aerosol, which is our biggest problem in the dental clinics, can be minimized. Uh, the most famous and known one is by a Swiss company named IQ Air. And uh, this uh, filter that you see here can be integrated with an arm that uh, is, um, uh, can be adjusted just above the head of the um, patient. Uh, today, there are many other options like the um, ADS system, which has the same action uh, and again can be adjusted just above the head of the patient. There are also uh, other uh, Chinese companies that uh, sell uh, the same equipment and can uh, sterilize the same uh, uh, amount of uh, aerosol. Uh, and of course, uh, for each one, there are different parameters, uh, what types of filters they are using, how many layers, uh, what is the maintenance uh, uh, protocol for each one of them. And of course, the price is different from one to one. Another uh, thing that you can use which uh, block, uh, in a way, block all the air that come from uh, the mouth of the patient. Uh, regarding the loops, uh, which is one of the main problem we have today, a uh, company named StarMed, which is uh, quite popular around the world between dentists for uh, uh, medical dental loops. So in that way, you are protected. And let's hope that this virus uh, will leave us soon and we will be able to come back to work as we did before. Now we finish the treatment. Patient leaves the chair with hands up, put the mask back, goes to the table, take them and leaves the clinic. It is uh, advised to do all the appointments and payment by remote. Today you can pay by remote in every credit card and keep two meters between him and the front desk and of course, now it's a time for us to clean the clinic and prepare ourselves for the next patient. So uh, step number one, of course, is to clean the area of the dental chair, uh, to replace his head cover, to clean the chair with spray and with MediWipes, and then to change the plastic on the light, to change the plastic on your light cure, to change the cover of your keyboard, everything that your staff regularly touch. Of course, it is advised to educate our staff not to uh, touch everything and try uh, to limit the areas where we actually need to clean to very specific areas that we can repeat the protocol again and again between patient to patient. Of course, we take all the tools and sterilize them in autoclave, but it's very important that our patient will understand that we do the cleaning and sterilization in our clinics for years and years. This is not new. So in conclusion, I hope this small video will help you to rearrange your mind how to work in these Corona times. So share it as much as you can. So we will help each other and I think that this is a routine that probably will stay with us for longer than we think. But uh, uh, this is uh, good that our patients will understand that we are here for them and our uh, clinics are probably safe for us and for them. Thank you very much.